Do you know what's really strange, isn't it? Um, you've got all big companies, big firms, yeah? They're all loggerheads with each other when they're out on the street. Um, when I was in Chelmsford Prison, mate, there was, what, three firms in there, yeah? There was got maybe four. You've got Alan Dixon was with his brother George and their little firm, which was a heavy firm, mate, the Dixons. Then you had the Crays. Uh, we had Ronnie Bender there. Uh, that was a little heavy little firm. And they say without without the craze, there wasn't heavy. But don't worry about that. Ronnie Bender was a heavy, heavy man. Right? It was proper. I love him. Uh, and then you had, well, you had the, with the craze, you had Frankie Fraser that was sometimes visited the craze because he knew the families. So there's another one. And then you had the Richardsons, which again was uh, Frankie Fraser and also Tony Lawrence, yeah? Uh, Jimmy Moody, Moody won about. I mean, Jimmy, I don't know what happened to Jimmy. I think that time Jim Moody, Moody was dead. I'm not quite sure, but anyway, he was a Jimmy Moody was a really, really heavy, heavy man, a really dangerous man. Yeah, uh, they topped Jimmy Moody in the pub. You know, I think it was a pub or a club. Just walked in there and shot him about five, six times in the head. But he was a dangerous man. Jimmy Moody. I mean, he used to work with my father-in-law, uh, Mickey Johnson, years ago. But anyway, uh, yeah, I used to. I used to talk to Alan Dixon. Alan Dixon uh, was a nice guy. I was in Albany with Alan. Uh, he was always mucking about, joking about, always, never stopped joking about, walking out behind, behind screws, nicking their hats, running up the stairs, walking all gay, hello, and all that guy. But he was so funny, yeah? He was a proper guy, Alan Dixon, and very dangerous. He could, he could have it, Alan. And I remember uh, sitting in a cell with Alan Dixon, on Ronnie Bender, and even though them two were on opposite sides, uh, I was talking about what the craze like uh, to to Alan. He went, "Why?" He said, "Mate, we weren't bothered about the craze. We weren't bothered about the craze, mate. Don't worry about that. We was going to take over to, from the craze. They wasn't that powerful, mate. I was only there's only there was two of them. There was Ron and Reggie was the only two." All the others just followed them. They wasn't gonna. They wasn't that powerful. Maybe Ron, Ronnie Bender sitting there. I said, he said maybe Ronnie Bender was one of the ones that could really, really have it, you know. And when he's going, you know, just I'm in an iron. And uh, Alan, I said to Alan, is there any such times that you've ever felt fear from the craze? He went, no, never. I said, but is it true? You know, you get to hear things in prison, and you come back. It's nice to be able to talk to these people. I said, is it true that Ronnie, uh, Ronnie Cray uh, put a Beretta in a club, come up and fired the Beretta and it didn't come up, it didn't fire, and it was meant for you, uh, you and George? He went, do what? He went, you're mad, aren't you? He said, what? He said, what? And it never went off. He went, <laughs> he said, Reggie, what, Ronnie Cray would have been mullered, mate. My brother, George. Would have ripped his head off. My jaws could really have a fight. My jaws would have smashed him to pieces. I mean, my jaws are proper fight away, you know what I mean? And he'd have bashed up Ronnie Cray seven days a week, but he wouldn't have just bashed him up. He'd have put him in a, in a pine box. What if he pulled out a gun, a Beretta, and shot two or three times, and it never, it never, it just, never, nothing happens. And then he, he's supposed to took the, the bullets out of, the, out of the gun and give it to my, my, my jaws. No, that never happened, mate. That never happens. Don't worry about that. That never happens. There's no way that, that Ronnie Cray coming to a club or a pub with me and my brother there, me and my George was in the pub or the club, and he come over and fired two guns out of a, two bullets out of a Brett or three bullets out of a Brett and, it, it, and nothing happens. He said, no, mate. He said, then they give the bullets to my, my brother George and said, you're lucky. You know what I mean? You're lucky today. It's your day, yeah? My brother would have killed him. My brother George would have smashed him all around the gaff. My George would kill them both. My George would kill them both. With, with, he could kill him both with two hands torn behind his back, mate. He said, our firm was heavy. Our firm was more heavier than the craze. Then I saw sort of like Alan, uh, George, um, Ronnie Bender sitting there. I said, is that true? And he went, well, you know, I like, he said, um, don't worry about that. Our firm was heavy. He said, but, Obviously, uh, the Dixons uh, was a really heavy firm, you know, and uh, we know George could really have it. And, you know, there's a few people around them. 
that can also relive it, and Edward is quite dangerous. And he said, the ones, the ones you actually would be quite weary of the East End, uh, you know, was also uh, the Chibses. Uh, the Chibses uh, was, uh, could have a, could, could, a, could uh, well, mate, they was all good fighters, you know what I mean? They had the old man Chibsy, it was like a mountain, but I know, because he's, he's in Chelmsford Prison, and I'm just talking to Ronnie Bender and Alan Dixon, you know, but Jimmy Chips, the old man, he's massive, mate. He's a big, big man. He's a man fear. You, 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 when you sit down and talk to him or shake his hand, his hand's twice as big as my hand, and he shakes your hand, you can feel the power in the man, yeah? And when he talks, he ain't got to say too much, mate. You can feel it. He didn't laugh much, but when he did laugh, it was... Uh, it sort of shook your whole body, yeah? Then you had young Jim, uh, good fighter, good boxer. Um, he was dangerous, young Jim Tibbs, mate. I don't know about that. He was, you know, he could really have it. You know? and, and there's a lot of people in there petrified of him. You know what I mean? Petrified because the guy, he's never said too much. He was just a nice guy that could really have it. Then you had Robert Tibbs, didn't you, Robert Tibbs? I met Robert. Um... And young, yeah, Bobby, is it? Yeah, yeah, uh, John, was it John? Yeah, John, yeah, John, uh, Robert was the young one, John was the second one, I think, and Jimmy, and then uh, the young man, Tibbsy, but I'm not quite sure how it went, you know. I know Robert was the youngest one. I'm not quite sure about John, I think John was next to the old, uh, next, he was the oldest one, and then, yeah, Jimmy. But, I mean, the one out of the family that could really have it uh, was was young Jimmy, he was a fantastic fighter, fantastic boxer, but he was more with the old man, uh, I think he got a 10 or a 12, I'm not quite sure, but he was close to, the, very close to the old man, I mean Robert and Johnny Tibbs, uh, they went out well before the old man and, and young Jimmy did, because I, when I got there, they was there and they'd left, yeah, they was leaving rather, but um, it's nice to be able to sit, I mean, when, <laughs> Do you know, like, it's, 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 when you sit down and just talk to these people, imagine you've got three or four firms in there, all loggerheads with each other when they're out in the street, but in prison, they become, they become, not friends, but become, like, companions as, as such, you know, we're going to eat together. The only one in there that I never see wrapped around any of them was Tony Lawrence, yeah? Tony Lawrence is a very one-person man, yeah? He just kept to himself, and now he, he talks to me. I'd go down and see him because I always want this big weight he had, and I was quite, you know, because he come from Fulham, I come from Acton, and I could have good conversations with Tony. He'd put, he'd, he'd wise me up with lots of things, yeah? Um, him and Faze always had logheads. Uh, there was always, uh, f not fighting, but, you know, the looks... The stairs, you know, me looking after Tony when he was in the toilet, having a shower and all that, you know, like, mate, you saw Frank, and we come around and stabbed him, stabbed him to death, because um, without a shadow of doubt, um, the firm uh, that yet to be, uh, was, I think, was the governors all around London, was the Richardsons, yeah? I mean, they were powerful, powerful, powerful people. You had Jimmy Moody, that was a proper hitman. You had Frankie Fraser, that was a dangerous man. You had Tony Lawrence, that was also dangerous. And you had Charlie, Charlie Richardson, that was a dangerous, dangerous man. And you had Eddie, that was dangerous. And they were proper businessmen as well, as well as gangsters. Um, Tibbses, very old people, um, could have a row. Well. Um, I don't think there was, uh, there was, there was, I don't think there was, uh, um, what does I say, gangsters as such, yeah? There was more business people, yeah? Uh, the Dixons were definitely gangsters. Dick, Dick, uh, the Dixons were definitely gangsters. George and Alan, I mean, I'm not quite, I don't know uh, uh, the, other, the other people involved. I don't know, John, Johnny Dixon, I don't know he, he part of the family. I don't know, but um, all I know is that Alan... Uh, I was, uh, you know, Alan twice had been away with him uh, in Albany and, and Chelmsford, and listen, Alan Dixon's got stories as long as his arm. 
you know, and he could keep on telling his stories. And when you're sitting in the cell with him, people, and you listen to the stories, uh, stories that, that Alan and, and Ronnie Bendis should talk about, you think it's a wow. And then Craig's was, um, especially Ronnie Craig, a uh, very dangerous person, mate. He like he would cut you up and rip you to pieces and stab you in the eye, and think nothing of it, yeah. Uh, but um, they say that without the craze, uh, the others would have just folded. I don't know about that. They make out that, that, that the craze firm was was weak. I don't know about that either. But because I know Ronnie Bender, uh, he had a lot of power. He had a lot to say. Uh, he wasn't a flash guy. Never ever flash. He was just the captain of every team, rugby team, football team, cricket team, everything, you know what I mean? Even though he couldn't play uh, most of them. <laughs> he was funny because he had a dodgy leg as well. But he made out, he made out to have a dodgy leg. But Ronnie Bender, um, he'd done his, his bird easy uh, when I was with him in Chelsea prison. He just, he had everything he could possibly want. It was like a, it was like really, um, the top, it was like, how can I say, what was that, what was that film? Um, I forget the name of it, but he was the Goodfellas, isn't it? The Goodfellas, yeah? It's like that when they was in prison, yeah? When they get their, they get their, 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 their uh, garlic and they cut the garlic up and they're, they're in big steaks. It wasn't, they was having all that down the stairs in the kitchen. I mean, the old man Tibsy, uh, he was like, he run the kitchen, the old man. You know, he run the kitchen. Uh, and Ronnie Bender, uh, they they was just like, I don't know. It's, I look back at all these people, mate, and they're all dead, you know, and it breaks my heart. Young Jimmy Tibbs is not dead, you know, you know he's not dead. Not young Jimmy, but the, the one down from the old man, I think he's, he's, you know, but he was like proper, proper, proper purple, mate. There were proper people, the Tibbses, uh, the Dixons, I only see George, I only see Alan, so I never see George. Even on a visit, I never see George. But Alan, proper, and I could see this guy, Alan Dixon, being a white woman guy, you know what I mean? He's one of them guys that, he was rough looking, but had to talk, you know, really could talk, and he could really sing. He'd sing, sing all day long, you know, fantastic. I know I've said it before, but for someone to get on a bridge, in Chelsea Prison, on the bridge going from, you know, from side to side, get up there and start seeing my way and all that. And Joe Lott, you know, is a, a, a lot. I mean, Joe Lott, um, he was uh, just a fantastic guy on a, on a, on one of them, what's his name, piano calls, yeah? He was like, could sing Joe Lott, you know, and he went up there with Ronnie Bender and they was doing my way and all that. And he, the, the, no one banged up on our wing, Sea wing, no one banged up. The only people who banged up was the people like you didn't want to know, you didn't want to talk to them. They they're the ones that would slam the door. If everybody get if people were getting smashed to pieces, they would just slam the door and leave it. But us lot, if anybody was getting set about, we'd all we'd all steam in. You know what I mean? But we wouldn't let anybody get bashed up by screws or anyone really. You know that's why very tight. Chelsea Prison, the wing, Sea Wing, very, very tight, yeah. And Alan Dixon and Jimmy Tibbs, the old man, had it sewn up, uh, had it sewn up. Um, Tony Lawrence also had it sewn up down the stairs. But it's strange, isn't it, that he got four or five firms in the same wing, you know what I mean? You got in the same wing, you know, and, and yet they went outside and want to kill each other, but in prison, because prison is prison, and everybody's got to look after everybody, they're close, you know what I mean? I love that. Anyway, this is Bang Bang Rail. Uh, just please like and subscribe. And i am just put something on a little bit before this. Uh, I'm going on TikTok, yeah? Um, I need a 1,000 followers, um, and it's Rail 2023, yeah? Also Bang Bang Rail, but it's... Uh, this channel was uh, Rail 2023, like 2023. Um, I'd like people to come onto my channel so we can all chat then. Um, someone told me that you, you get gifts and all that, bits of money. Mate, that would really help me out. I've never, I've never ever, I've been on on YouTube now for about, what, 
two years nearly. I've never gone live. Uh, I will do on, on TikTok, I go live. I like to get little gifts, people put money over for me, and it helps out, yeah, it helps out. Anyway, um, just thought I'd let you know. So if, if people are watching this today, uh, go on to TikTok, and it's uh, Rail uh, 2023, and it's Bang Bang, also Bang Bang Rail, yeah. Uh, have a nice day, and take care, and thanks very much, yeah, bye-bye.